MJ from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun, so you guys cool that you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game today's episode is about someone knocking on your door late at night. And judging by this police car right in front of the house, I'm assuming it was a bad, bad man. So let's figure it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Was I sleeping upside down? I don't know who the hell's knocking on my door. It's the third knock in two days. Oh no, the third knock. If I check it one more time and there won't be anyone, I'll call the cops and buy cameras. Okay, rich bitch, I see you buying cameras so we have to go to the front door no problem wait what's going on i feel like i'm walking in mud it's so slow nobody's here oh jesus oh my god seriously all right i'll deal with it tomorrow oh crap someone's gonna be inside here isn't they isn't they i can't english well i have to go to bed then why are you listening to random knocks just go to sleep dude Okay, close the door, and let's go to sleep in my Cali king-size bed. There's a lot of space there. Oh, yeah, what am I sleeping on? Freaks! <laughs> Those are some little bitch boy knocks, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're not tough sounding at all. They sound like little baby knocks. Weak ass knocks. Nobody's here still. I have to go to bed. I'm freaking nervous. I'm sweating already. I hate it when I sweat. I'm not even gonna close the door. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. It's weird when he wakes up. It seems like he's upside down, right? What the heck? That is so freaking random. It's like he's- What the- Yo! Hold on! <laughs> I said enough of these knocks. Time to send them to the gates of heaven. That is freaking crazy. I'm just a floating arm with a gun. That's nuts. What is that? Hey! Um, excuse me! What? Ah! 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 Fuck! Get up! Bitch! <laughs> Who are these random dudes? Look at that turbulence on that one! Bro, why does this one have so much bounce though? Why does it have so much ass? That's the main question. I think that's the question that I need answered above all the rest. Why does that one got so much ass, though? Are there any more of these guys? Hello? Ah! Fuck! He came at me first, everybody. It was self-defense. You all saw him lunge at me. That's what we're telling the cops. Oh, crap. We gotta get out of here. I need fake passports. I need a plane ticket one way. I don't even care. I'll go to Guatemala. Thank you for playing. So, the knocks were real people? Or was I just a serial killer? I have no idea. Maybe the person was thinking that they all look like monsters, but that could have been his entire family. I don't know. I'm out here making scenarios in my head on some serial killer vibes. Next game today's episode is called Each Room, and it literally just starts like this. It looks like one of those fisheye lens type of games. And what you have to do is you play as a delivery person and I think I need to get my packages from out here, right? Wait, hold on, sorry everybody. We actually have to go in here. I'm not going down there. I'm definitely not doing that. I have to put the packages, there you go. I guess it was Amazon Prime Day in this building because everybody got something. What's going on? Okay, I guess I have to put a package on every single door. Everybody got a package. Like one for you and one for you. Where am I hiding all these boxes though? That's the thing that I don't understand. That's the thing that I don't get. And, hello. Hello, random man. Wait your turn. I'll give you your package. What are you doing here? I'm a courier. Are you going upstairs? What does it freaking look like? Yes? You'll regret it. Get out. You'll regret this when I don't give you your package. You pinche pendejo. Okay. Let me get that. Why is he looking at me like that? Go about your day, bro. Go, go home. Your wife's probably cheating on you. Go check on that. Tell me to get out. You get out. Boom, bop, pow, wop. Don't stop till you drop. Beep, boop, boop, bop. I'm kind of nervous. Ah! 
I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, wait, what is going on here? What in the satanic room is this? What the fuck? Can I get that? I can't get that. Bro, it's not like somebody's humming in here. That, I do need the chain. I need the bolt cutter thing, cause chain gang is blocking me. But yeah, this bloody room, this bloody hell, mate. Shit's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. There you go. I thought somebody was there. I thought somebody was trying to sell me something. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Is there a towel in one of these rooms? Cause I am sweating down my butt crack. I think I have swamp ass, honestly. Don't, 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 don't do it. I'm stuttering already. Wait, is that one of those chalk outlines of somebody that died? <laughs> Yo! He died for being a little bitch. Look at that chalk outline, bro. That is a gingerbread looking chalk outline, if I do say so myself. Uh oh. Why is there a ladder? I'm not going up there. I got so many packages on my ass, literally, that I don't even want to do any of that. Come on now. I guess I'm going up there. I guess that's what we're doing, everybody. So we got all the packages. I'm going up. Go up. Go up. The first apartment's done. I'll move to another. What are you talking about? What does that even mean? Oh, okay, cool. So we're just going to automatically go to a new apartment. Awesome. Oh, shit. I thought that was somebody's face. This says, help wanted. If you've seen this, immediately call 911. Bro, I'm not calling 911 if I see that face. I'm dying on the spot. Moment I look into this dude's butthole ass eyes, I'm done, bro. I'm just falling back like that. And it even says this thing can kill you in 0. .00001 second. At least it doesn't kill me in 0. .00010 seconds. <laughs> If you see him, immediately get out the area where he is and call 911. I actually thought he was going to be behind me. I'm not even going to lie to you all. That would have been the perfect jump scare. I'm not even kidding. He's right there. He's right there, bro. <laughs> There's literally a poster of this bitch one floor below where he is. He's just standing there naked as shit too, letting his balls all hang out. What do I have to do? If I see this thing, hold on. If I see him, immediately get out the area where he is and call 911. Okay. I think I'm going to take my chances. I kind of want to take my chances. Hey there, buckaroo. How you doing? Do not take photo. I'm going to take a photo and post it on my TikTok. <laughs> You know, it's not nice to take pictures of- God damn, this dude looked like my dog shit, bro. This is so funny, man. <laughs> like, where did they take this picture? Did he just pose for this? Is this his driver's license picture? Like, where did he take this? It looked like he's posing in front of a building or something. <laughs> like, that's his school ID. <laughs> They're like, you want to smile? And he's like, you want me to pose right here? You want me to smile? Show some teeth? Why the fuck is he smiling? He's like, can you get my good side? Can you get my baby browns? My doo-doo brown eyes? All right, I need to stop, bro. I need to stop. This dude is going to clap my freaking butt cheeks. Okay, so what I need to do is do not, right? Do not. Okay. Uh, does that mean I just leave? He's like the king of the floor, I guess. So I'm just going to leave. See you later. Duh. All right. So, is that all I do? I don't understand. There's not even a whole building. I'm like in outer space or something. I guess maybe I don't take a picture, but maybe I still do my job because the priority is always the customer, right? Okay. I'm going back up. I'm going to do my thing, everybody. I don't pull packages here. Okay. So, let me go past this hoe. And I'm just going to do my job. Mind my own business, okay? I know the maniac is on the loose. But I'm just not going to take a picture. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Look at this dude. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I did not mean to look at that. I apologize. Um, I'm just gonna do that, okay? No problem, right? No issue? Dude, like, 645, bro. Haunting the wrong paint. I'm just gonna go up. Is that cool? Is that cool? Fuck. God damn, bro. All up on my butt. I'm nervous. I am. Honestly, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. What is here? What is going on? Uh, um, I guess open doors is just like an open invitation to come. I'm coming. Whoo. Hey, you're the same asshole from the other apartment, aren't you? Told you. What? What did you tell me? I don't know what I've been told. What? What is this? Huh? What are those big ass titties this way? Okay, and then the same chalk outline? Kinda. This one got a bigger head. And buffer arms. That thing definitely doesn't skip shoulder day. Anybody in here? Okay, thank goodness. Give me that hammer. It's hammer time. This is a weird ass game. I was just trying to do my 9 to 5. Go home, warm up a hot pocket, uh, talk to my imaginary girlfriend, and just call it a day. This way, though. So skull plus skull plus skull equals 21. Um, okay. And then robot plus skull plus robot equals 72. So skull plus robot plus robot equals... I got you. So... Seven is what the skull is, right? Because seven plus seven plus seven equals 21. The math is mathing right now. This big brain is being put to work overtime, basically. So that means all we have to do is do uh, 72 minus seven. If somebody knows an easier way, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it because I'm not a mathematician. I'm not a wizard, Harry. So let's see, 72 minus seven is 65. 65 divided by two, is 32.5? Oh, I didn't see that that was a time symbol. Okay, I didn't know I was supposed to do multiplication. So the robot is nine because nine times seven is 63 plus nine equals 72. So seven plus nine plus nine equals 25. You know what's funnier than 24? 25. And you know what's funnier than 25? These little titty looking globe things. One, two, three, four, five. I better not get a jump scare as a reward. I swear, I swear. Don't you freaking do it. Come on now, get me out of here. Wow, why did I have to answer a random ass question? Where am I? What in the world? What is this bullshit, bro? Level game studio, what, man? Really? Iron Chain by Dabori. I know something else that was Dabori. I honestly thought that says sex tape. That says crime scene tape. I did not see such thing. I did not see any crime scene tape, really. Last game today's episode is called The Riddle of Something. The Riddle of DH. I don't know what DH stand for but I'm not even gonna attempt to try to make a joke and tell you all what that means. But it's created by Vinicius Pires. And I'm in the back of a cab. Hello, taxi driver. Much movement lately? Well, you're the only young person I'm taking anywhere tonight besides the festival. Really? Why is that? Every other young cub went to the Coney Island Christmas Festival. I guess that it's not your thing, is it? <laughs> I had to work late today. My boss is rather bothersome. Losing this job is not an option for me. On the bright side, I have excellent health insurance and also receive meal benefits. Got it. If things don't work out for you, you can come work at the place I'm at. We've got tuna sandwiches and machine coffee instead of health insurance, you know. It's a different deal, but hey, it's a gig. I don't even have a driver's license, but thanks for the tip. Here we are. House 19, right? That's right. Thank you. Here's the money. Have a good night. You too, girl. Take care of yourself. I felt like two AI were talking right there. That couldn't have been human. That was the most robotic conversation I've ever had the displeasure of voice acting. Oh, damn. I totally forgot that I don't have anything to eat tonight. I should have booked the cab ride to Donnie's Market. 
Now I'm going to have to walk there. Donnie's Market is just down the street. All right, let's do it. Visit Donnie's Market. I hate it when characters walk slow in games, man. Should I buy pizza or make a cheese, pickle, and ground beef sandwich? This is a Christmas classic. Well, for me it is, I guess. Ground beef sandwich? What in the world? I've heard of, like, ground beef tacos, but ground beef sandwich? I need turkey breast. Like, I'm all over those breasts. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm talking about the turkey breast sandwich. Missing cat. Orange cake. I... I... Okay. Did I talk to this guy? Let me talk to this person right over here. Do you have any change? Of course. Thanks. What are you doing here, kid? All the young people went to that Coney Island Christmas festival. I had to work this Christmas Eve. You should have done like me. Not worked on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I see. Anyway, I need to go. It's getting late. Before you go, don't look now. But in that white van behind you is a man who's been parked for a while. He had come to talk to me, asked me questions, and then got back in the van. What kind of questions? If I were here alone, or if the seller at the grocery store was an angry person. He was bothering me. I almost showed him my kung fu moves. Whoa, hey, calm down, buddy. But he gave me some change, so I spared his life. This is pretty weird. I need to go. Yeah, I do need to go. But that white van is mighty suspect, if I do say so myself. Let me actually approach it. Maybe it'll leave. This is the white van, though? It looks more of a cream color to me. It looks kind of off-white, if I do say so myself. Or maybe you're talking about that van over there. Either way, two creepy vans parked on the side of the road. That's a no me gusta. That's a no bueno. But here we are, everybody. Donnie's Market. I need to get bread. I need to get cheese and pickles and ground beef. Cornbread? Can I do cornbread? Let me get whole grain. <laughs> Um, let me get my shopping carts. So, I need to get whole grain bread. There you go. Let me get cheese. That's the van. That's the van they tell me to worry about. And I am worried. Hey! Get out of here! Woo! 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 Oh, shit. Okay, they heard my chihuahua-ass barks. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. Where is the ground beef? What is that? Ew! Wait, ground beef? Okay, pickles and cheese. I'm a mozzarella guy, but for sandwiches, I'm a provolone man. Oh, the cheese is right here. And I need pickles. Pickles would be in the cold section, right? But why would it be over here? I guess. Pickles? There they are. Those look like olives. You can't fool me. Those are olives disguised as pickles. That's why this white van is going to get me. I already know it. I know it deep down in my bones. Hello, Donnie. Do you see that van? I do. That guy again. Wait a minute. What? Oh, shit! You handle your business, Donnie! Show him that double barrel, Donnie! Yeah, I'm Donnie. Donnie's huge as fuck, too. Hey, weirdo. What are you spying on here? Tell him, Donnie. Point that gun at him, Donnie. Oh, yeah. Make him skedaddle, Donnie. Come on, Donnie. Get in here. Listen, I think you'd better go home now. Take the groceries and pay tomorrow after the festival. The streets are very empty tonight, and it's not safe. Can I take the double barrel with me? Can I please purchase this, por favor? Let me just pack your groceries. Okay, thanks. Go home. I have a feeling that that's not the last we've seen of that van. I need to pick up my groceries. What about that double barrel, though, baby? I need that. I need that. I don't want that. I need that. Okay, but we need to go back home. We need to go home. Maybe I can ask the hobo to lend me his kung fu moves one time. Because I do not feel safe. And I'm just going to keep looking back. Even though looking back is whack sometimes. The hobo's gone, bro. Oh, no. The hobo's gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have no more hobo. Okay. Let's just go, and I hope the guy isn't coming. 
I think the guy might be coming though. I'm not gonna lie. Where's my house? Fuck. I'm nervous. Please. Please don't. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Not today. Not me. You're right. Not today, not you. For surezies. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is it the one with the light on? It's gotta be, right? Come on now. Stop playing. Oh, shit! I'm fucked! Who's dead? Please don't! Don't, 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 don't! Don't, 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 don't! Don't, 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 don't! Oh, boy. Why is that card just randomly right there? Is it 17? What is my house number? Oh, shit. Where do I live, bro? It's this one. It's this one. Searching for keys. Where's my keys? I'm fucked! I'm fucked! Please don't! No! How long does it take for you to reach in your pockets? Come on, Delilah! No, no. I'm dead, everybody. As soon as I reach for the keys, I need to just book it. Put that thing in the slot. Chuck, chuck. Inside. Bada bing, bada boom. <gasps> what the hell? Did someone get out of the car? Go! Come on! Go, 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 go! I'm... <laughs> So Delilah is knocked out in the trunk. That is actually more terrifying than certain situations that horror games have. Because this is something that unfortunately can happen to anybody. Like for example, that first game that I played, those monsters inside of the house, like come on now, really? But this one, like anybody can get kidnapped and that is so terrifying, especially women. It's so scary to be alone at night as a woman because there are so many freaking creeps around. That's why if anybody watching this ever goes out at night or is like going home late at night, make sure you're on the phone with somebody, like FaceTime, make sure that you're with somebody if somebody's able to be with you. Just try to be smart, stay in the light, don't go near creepy people or even begin to engage in a conversation with them. Just go where you need to go, lock the doors, lock the windows, all that stuff. Just be smart, be safe. And I just pray and I hope that nothing like that ever happens to anybody. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.